So let's talk about reflection. Just a reminder, when we're going to be talking about the angles involved in reflection, we're always measuring the angle relative to the normal, not the surface. The normal is an imaginary line that we put in that's perpendicular to the surface at the point where the incident light ray hits the surface. And angles are always measured relative to the normal, not the surface. So, what happens when a light ray hits a mirror or some other surface? So the light ray comes in and hits the surface. What happens next? Well, normally it reflects, doesn't it? How can we be precise about how it reflects? Well, we draw in the normal. And then we're interested in working out this angle against this angle. Now, this is fairly normal. This, that's a bad word to use. This looks quite typical of what would happen. If this angle here were flatter, what would happen next? Let me draw that in for you. If that angle was flatter, the light ray would be reflecting like that, approximately. This angle of incidence is the same as the angle of reflection. And that is the law of reflection. The angle of reflection is equal to the angle of incidence. And the incident ray, the normal, and the reflected ray all lie in the same plane. Now, that second bit is a little bit strange. What it's saying is, um, basically, if the light comes in to the surface, then the light ray that reflects off doesn't go off to the side or somewhere else. It's, it's in the same plane. Most of the time we just refer to this as the law of reflection. The angle of reflection here is equal to the angle of incidence here. Now, that's what happens when you have a mirror, a very flat surface. We call that a specular reflection. All the incident light rays, all the incoming light, is reflected at the same angle of the surface. That's what happens if the surface is smooth. But if the surface is rough, we get what's called a diffuse reflection. The light rays are being reflected at a whole lot of different angles. So you don't actually see a sharp image. For example, look at your wall or look at the desk. The reflected light, sorry, the light is reflected off it, but the reflected light doesn't form an image like a mirror does. It's reflecting off a rough surface. The normals on this diagram are marked in with dotted lines and the normals are all at different directions at that exact spot where the light ray hits which means each of those reflected rays comes off at a different direction. And that re results in what's called diffuse reflection, where you can't see an image. 